the east. The origin of Europe, the Indo-Europeans. The origin of shamanic religious practice, because that could never have come out of Europe. The Pre-Europe, the subterranean history of Europe, the hidden influence on European art, thought, and culture. The origin of the Celts, our past as Phoenicians or Scythians, and our similarities to Hinduism used to prove our inferiority, while the other Indo-Europeans forget or deny their own past. The other, the Oriental, the indigenous, the place where time stands still, the place of spiritual and erotic fruits, irrelevant to modernity, inferior to the West, in need of Western guidance. The ancient past, the key to the future. Continuation of Eastern shamanism in the form of Celtic Druidry pushed to the fringes, the edge of the cauldron. The geographical West, but not the West. The last stronghold of the Celts, Druids, warriors, kings, queens, saints, scholars, Tyrn and O. Indo-Europe mixed with pre-Europe anti-Europe, roots in Africa or Asia instead, the black Sambo, the red Indian, the drunken Paddy. The Druids who became the best Catholics in the world with a special place in heaven just for them. The pioneers of freedom fighting, or terrorism as they call it on the other side of the fence. The liminal, the contradictory, white Europeans who are colonized. Feminine, childlike, backwards, dreamy, in need of a good stern hand to guide us. Refused European status, expected to be civilized Europeans. We tell the West to go fuck itself. We beg and grovel to be Western the greatest rebels of the world, the brain of Europe. 7,000 oaks in Ireland, regrowth of the Celtic and defiance of colonialism, healing for the future. Barbarians of the forest, the Teutonic, Celtic, Germanic, Norse, the blonde beast, cold, hard, strong, stern, tall, natural conquerors, race obsessed, British, Anglo Saxon, in opposition to the Irish, Cornish, Welsh, and Scottish Celt. Spiritually lacking and therefore suited to Protestantism. Masculine, rational, civilized, superior. Unimaginative, unsophisticated, rough, barbaric, inferior. Betrayal and perversion. The use of our sacred symbols like the oak and the swastika in the 20th century were evil. Seven thousand oaks in Germany. Regrowth to the Celtic as reparation and penance for colonialism, healing for the future. The South. The Latin world, 
the Roman Empire. The cliché of the cradle of civilization, from Greece to Rome to Byzantium to the West. The first writers of European history. Anti-superstition, anti-pagan, anti-barbarian. Lovers of magic, devout pagans, devout Christians, performers of barbaric sacrifice and great violence. Spiritually advanced and therefore suited to Catholicism. Masculine, rational, civilized, superior. Superstitious, childlike, irrational, barbaric, inferior. The Celt occupies most of Europe and into Asia. The Roman Empire decides that the Northern, Celtic and Germanic are inferior. The British Empire decides that it's Anglo-Saxon, and therefore Northern, and therefore superior. The Celt is perpetually inferior for being too Northern, too Southern, too Eastern, or too Western. The Celt is proud. Janus, the two-faced deity, look both ways, look one way, Amadon. Amantishkyat, Amandashkyat, Amantar, Amantir, 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 Amantir